Today's video is my combat condor build, which in my opinion kicks ass. Greetings commanders, I am Cree Cree, I am an elite dangerous YouTuber and streamer. Speaking of, catch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Cree Cree. I'm live from 1pm Thursday to Saturdays, Australian Easter Standard Time. Today I'll give you my build and not so much talked about power priority. At the time of this recording, I'd have to say this is my favourite combat build and ship so far and you'll see why. So let's get into it. Okay, so first thing is the hard points. So I have all of my hard points gimbaled. Some would disagree with this because when someone uses their chaff launcher, it does scramble gimbaled weapons. But if you're able to stay close enough to the enemy ship or wanted ship, then it's not too much of an issue. Plus you can play around with this, uh, this build yourself. So what I have is a 4A beam laser. I have two 3E pulse lasers. One 3C multi cannon. Two 2F multi cannons and two 1E cannons. Now as for the utility mounts, I have six shield boosters, I have a heat sink launcher and a chaff launcher. So obviously the shield booster is as it sounds, it would boost your shields. And the heat sink is that when you use a shield cell bank, it tends to heat up your ship, so you'd need to launch a heat sink launcher at the same time when doing that. And also I would suggest uh, using the chaff launcher at the same time as well in case you're getting too much uh, firepower onto your ship, so it'll scramble their gimbaled weapons. Okay now core internal. Alright so I've kept the 1C lightweight alloys got an 8A power plant, 7A thrusters just for maneuverability and speed. I have a 6A frame shift drive which has been engineered to grade 2 uh, FSD booster for extra range. I have a 5E life support, 8A power distributor, 8C sensors and of course the, the standard 5C fuel tank. Okay now optional internals. Okay so I have a 7c biweave shield generator. Now with biweave shields they do lose shield quickly but they also recharge really fast compared to your normal shields. So I've gone with the biweave shields especially because of the shield uh, cell banks that I have as well as the shield boosters so it balances it out really well. So speaking of shield cell banks, here's my 6A. I have a 6D fighter hanger. My fuel scoop is 6B. I have a 5E cargo rack with a capacity of 32. This is so I can pick up materials if I'm farming for engineering and also collect uh, materials for perhaps even some guardian blueprints. I have a 5D hull reinforcement package. And I also have a, a 5A auto field maintenance unit and a 5D module reinforcement package. I have a 4A frame shift drive interdictor in case I decide to do some bounty hunting. I have 3A collect Olympic controllers so I'm able to uh, collect any of the materials that I had mentioned earlier. I also have a 3A repair Olympic controller in case I need to repair my ship out uh, while I'm doing combat. I have uh, an SRV, so a planetary vehicle hangar. Uh, this is a 2G. This is so that if I go down to, for example, any Guardian sites, then I'm able to get into my Scarab and uh, collect materials that way. And of course the planetary approach suite. Now for the power priority, but first I'd like to say if this video has helped you 
or if you have enjoyed it, then consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon and giving this video a like. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. Now to the power priority. Okay, so now the power priority is located on your right hand panel. Uh, a lot of you uh, commanders will already know this, but um, just for those who aren't aware and haven't done anything with the power priority yet, it is on the right hand uh, panel under modules. For the power priority, you'll notice that they have obviously a number between one to four for the priority of use. So things that you're using all the time will be one, second to that is two and so on and so forth. So th that's pretty much the rule. So this is my setup for my combat conda. So my thrusters are at one, I weave shield generator is one, I have my auto field maintenance unit as four and it is set to inactive. This is just because um, there's no point in having it on uh, whilst you're out there unless you need to turn it on because the power percentage is uh, a little bit higher at 7% so you'd want to uh, turn that off unless you're using it. Beam laser uses a fair bit of power so I'll put that to 3. Shield bank is 2. Shield boosters are all 1. Multi cannon is 2 so you'll notice that uh, the weapons well, most of the weapons are at a priority of two. Power distributor one, pulse laser two, pulse laser two, frame shift drive one, planetary vehicle hangar is four, fuel scoop one, sensors one, multi cannon for both of them are two, cargo hatch is two, but I do have this switched off unless I'm going to use it, in which case I'll put it back on. Life support is one, of course. Frame shift drive interdictor is two, but I do have it turned off unless I am going out to bounty hunt. Collect a limpet is two. Repair limpet is two as well. Cannon, two. Cannon, two. Fighter hangers is two. Heat sink is one. Chaff launcher is one. And the rest will be zero because it doesn't use any power. You can see that there in the power column. As bonus, we'll have a look at the fire groups. Uh, this is another thing that isn't really shown very often. So this is my fire group. So you obviously don't have to go with this, but this is what I use and this is what I feel works the best for me. For column A, I have all my thermal weapons as my primary fire button and all my kinetic, which is my multi cannon and cannons. They are uh, my secondary fire. In column B, we go down, I have my shield cell bank and heat sink as primary fire because I want to have them go off at the same time like I had mentioned earlier. Chaff launcher is two. And then we have group C, discovery scanner one, data link scanner two, and then D, I have Composition scanner one, and then the frame shift drive interdictor is two. And lastly, uh, E is my uh, limpet controller. So my primary fire is the collector limpet, and the secondary is my repair limpet. This build, power priority, and fire groups will help you. Feel free to let me know down below how you went and if there are any changes you made. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. And most importantly, watch your six commander.